Welcome back. Honor Flight Arizona has been flying veterans out to Washington, D.C. since 2009, so they can see the memorials dedicated to their service. And as our Renee Romo explains, Honor Flight Arizona recently celebrated its 101st flight. Vietnam never leaves us. It's always there. Yep. When we came home, we didn't get a hero's welcome. Nobody thanked us for our service. It took decades, but the 13 veterans of the Korean War and 19 Vietnam veterans from Arizona finally got their heroes welcome home. Touring the memorials, accepting thanks from passers-by, and being recognized for their service in a pinning ceremony at the Vietnam Memorial. It is just always our pleasure and our purpose is to make sure that they feel like for Vietnam veterans that they're welcomed home. While the trip let these veterans get their long delayed thanks for their service, it also gave them the chance to reflect on and remember their comrades who did not return. There's a lot of names that, uh, that I recognize there that did not make it back. Vietnam uh, uh, Memorial, uh, to see two or three names that I knew of that I know of. Yeah, and I had some, a lot of friends that were killed in Vietnam, and uh, at least two people at least that were killed there and a lot of folks uh, that served. And so this is quite a tribute to come here to see all the monuments. I, I uh, lost so many buddies in Vietnam, you know. I'm just excited to get there, but I don't know how I react when I see the wall, put my hand on the wall, you know. Veterans had a busy day as they got to see the Vietnam, Korean, World War II, Marine Corps, and Navy memorials along with the Arlington Cemetery to view the changing of the guard at the tomb of the unknown soldier. However, the work for Honor Flight Arizona continues on. Eventually, someone will have to take the reins because we want to honor all of our veterans from after Vietnam. There's a lot of veterans to be thanked for their service as well. Thanked and given a chance to heal from the wounds of war. Uh, I still have nightmares. I just wanted to, like, it's a, a healing process for me, anyway. In Washington, Renee Romo, Cronkite News.